That being said, maybe if things go a little bit more sideways in the zombie apocalypse. Welcome everybody, Russ McDonough, aka The Nomadic Veteran, and welcome to this week's video. Um, this week, I'm gonna talk about grab bags. If you don't know what a grab bag is, it is essentially an emergency bag full of essential items that if you had to get out of somewhere, whether it be your own home, you live in a van, or even at your workplace, it's a, it's a bag you can pick up and you can just get the hell out of there really quickly. The stuff you keep in a, in a grab bag can vary, but there's always normally a, a, a few sort of like common items which you keep in there. Um, and for me, having been in the military for, for eight years and then working in a hostile environment for close to 10 years, we always kind of kept a bag on us at all times really like this. So with that being said, me and Gibbo thought it'd be a good idea to maybe put a grab bag together just in case something should happen when we're out and about, whether we get involved in, a, in an RTA and we have to stay at a hotel or an Airbnb, we can just grab the bag and we can get going. That being said, maybe if things go a little bit more sideways in the zombie apocalypse, we've still got a few items in here which will keep us tight, which will tide us over for basically 24, 48 hours. So I'll show you what's in our grab bag and we can go from there. Happy? Good. <laughs> Right, so first up for your grab bag, obviously what do you need? You need a bag. We went for a 30 litre bag made by Burghaus. Uh, the reason we went for 30 litres was it's not too big that you're going to stuff it full and make the bag too heavy to carry, but it's not too small that you can't get enough, bit of, enough of your kit in there. So 30 litres, just good enough, and Burghaus, they always make quality kit. Um, okay, so moving from, from front to back then, we've got some waterproof bags, uh, always good to have. We've got, uh, we've got dog stuff. Um, we've obviously got two Cavaliers, so we wanted to make sure they've got enough stuff. This includes a single single lead, so we can put Wilk and both on the on a single lead. Spare harnesses, self-explanatory. Poo bags, because we're responsible dog owners and we pick up after our dogs. Um, we've got some scran for them. Granted, it's probably not the nicest scran, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. We have got them some sardines to go with that, so they'll be happy with that. And then we've got some treats to uh, to keep them happy as well. Moving across then, we've obviously got our own scran. So what we went for was, uh, we went for the wet meals. Great things about these is they, they, they don't expire for ages. So this one here, May 2022. So basically, we've got a good couple of years of shelf life just before they expire. We'll scran them up. If we haven't used them before then, obviously. We'll scran them up and we'll replace them. Uh, each one is 550 calories. So there's, there's plenty of calories in there. This one's chili con carne. And the other one is Mexican casserole. So a good couple of varied meals. And then obviously, to eat our scran, we've got our spoons. Um, oh, going back to the boys, in fact, we've got two collapsible bowls. Uh, I won't teach you how to suck eggs. Everyone knows what a collapsible bowl is. Ideal for when they want to eat, and then when they want a bit of water, we'll just do it. And then because they collapse down, it takes up no space, and they're mega light. Perfect for this sort of, uh, sort of uh, situation. Uh, next up, first aid bag. Uh, this one was a really basic first aid kit. What I've done is, because I've done a few medical courses in my time in the military and then also as a, as a private uh, security contractor, I've just added a few bits and pieces on my own just to make it a little bit more user-friendly and, and in case any, the, the situation dictates that we need a bit of other uh, equipment. So that's a, that's a pretty essential bit of kit for the bag, I would say, a first aid kit. Uh, behind that, toothbrush and uh, toothpaste, self-explanatory. Um, Next one was, uh, I, again, I think this is quite an essential bit of kit. It's the old Gorilla Tape. A million and one uses, and uh, the Gorilla Tape is, is in my view, the, the best tape out there. Yes, it is quite expensive, um, but you know what? Like I said, it, it's awesome bits of kit, so oh, everyone loves black, black tape, don't they? That's good. Um, next up is a set of gloves. The reason we got this was what happens if we're out in the wild somewhere and we had to pick up some sharp stuff like barbed wire or something you don't want to cut your hands because if you think about it if you cut your hands you're going to start going down fairly quickly in any situation because they're so, obviously they're useful bits of kit aren't they so your hands so you want to keep them nice and safe at all times um following on from that then a good old-fashioned multi-tool this is a leatherman wave i've had this for years and years and it's never let me down it's a really really good bit of kit you've got pliers you've got knives you've got scissors it's you know what 
if you're looking for a multi-tool, I would suggest this one. Um, again, a little bit pricey, but handy to have in your, in your grab bag, in my opinion. Uh, okay, so next up, we've got two head torches, one for myself and one for Gibbo. The reason we didn't go for the handheld torches is purely because they're handheld. If, if you are doing something at night, how much easier is it to have actually a head torch? You've got both hands free as opposed to holding a torch, trying to do whatever you, you're doing. It, it just turns into a cluster. So a couple of head torches. Uh, this is from my days of when I, work, when I worked out in Iraq. I don't know why it's in the bag, but I always think it might come in useful. It's a green laser. Um, I just didn't want to get rid of it. So that goes in the grab bag. Uh, what else have we got here? Okay, this is a good bit of kit. Everyone's got smartphones these days, uh, and we all know that the iPhones, as me and Gibbo have, the batteries don't last terribly long. So we've got the old power bank uh, with the charger inside and then the lead for the iPhone. I think this one is 22 mAh, so it, it's got about eight full charges of an iPhone, so that's plenty to get us through. And then obviously, if we end up in a hotel or something, we can recharge it. Talking of hotels, depending on which country you're in, obviously you're gonna need a, a travel adapter. So this one's really good. It's got a multitude of, of different uh, plugs, depending on where you are. And then also what's really handy is it's got two USBs on the bottom as well. So you can just plug your iPhone, your iPad or whatever, and charge directly into there. Next up, spare batteries. Um, if you can see it there, we've gone for the older, the lithium ones. Again, a little bit more expensive, but the reason I went for these was because one, they're really light. Not that that makes a world of difference, but it does help. And two, the battery lasts a hell of a lot longer than the old alkaline batteries. So if you're gonna be carrying it, you want it to be lasting for as long as possible. So we went for lithium. Uh, what's next, what's next? Um, okay, now we're kind of getting into a little bit more of like a outdoorsy survival mode. You never know what's gonna happen. So we've got um, waterproof or yeah, basically waterproof matches, a burn time of 25 seconds, a nice watertight uh, container, and I think there's 25 matches in there. You know what, again, quite expensive for what they are, but if you need them, always good. And then something a bit more simpler, <laughs> we've got the old, I think we got this from like Asda, just the old, there you go. A bit better for me or for us than carrying other matches around or, or, or a proper lighter. Because generally the cheap lighters, I always feel like they break really quickly and I'm not going to go out and spend 15, 20 quid on a Zippo lighter. So this is a good bit of kit. Um, next up, I've got to be honest, this is one which I spent quite a lot of time researching and that. So it's basically uh, water a water purification system. So we ended up going with the uh, Grail, I think is how you pronounce it. This will turn, this, this basically does 250 litres of purification. So the way you do it, oh, if I unscrew it from the top there, you'll scoop your water out and it'll go into it where you've been into a pond, a river, whatever. You don't know how clean that water is and we all know that it's a risk drinking any type of water which you're unsure. The bacteria, the viruses, all that good stuff. If you do drink it, you're going to go down really soon. So you scoop your water up in the water in the uh, orange container. What you'll do with this bit, this is the filter here, that's what's gonna get rid of all the bad stuff. You'll slowly push that down, and as you push that down, that will filter the water, and the water will pop up into the smaller container inside there, the C31. You push it down, you push it down. You keep pushing. You'll finally do the load of water, and then once you've actually filtered it, it's good to drink, so. Again, like I said, I spent a lot of time thinking about this and researching it, because there are other, other models out there which are really, really expensive. This isn't the cheapest, it's not the most expensive, it's a happy medium, and in my, my view, or my opinion, it's a good bit of kit. What we wanted to, to back that up, just in case that was lost or whatnot, we've got the old chlorine tablets, the uh, water purification tablets. Again, it does the job, it takes a little longer. This one, I think, takes 30 minutes and it normally leaves a bit of a crappy taste of the water. You can always boil it after that, might get rid of that taste, but this is a backup to the, to the good one. Um, and then uh, basically last but not least is, uh, well, two things actually. We've got the old jet boil. So if we wanted to warm, obviously, if we want to boil some water to make coffee, which I'll get onto in a second, um, this is a really good bit of kit. 
for the gas cylinder. It's only a small gas cylinder, it lasts for ages. Uh, I'll show you how this, you, uh, this works in a second, but again, great bit of kit. And the reason I talk about coffee is because what we've also got in our grab bag is an AeroPress Go. Again, I'll show you this a bit more in depth, but basically that does the coffee, that doubles up as a mug. It's just a good bit of kit. So if the world is coming to an end, at least I can still have a morning coffee. I'm happy. Um, just the one thing with you using the AeroPress Go, make sure your coffee is obviously already ground or you have to put a, gr a grinder in as well. And that, I think, is about it. Um, yeah. This week's video done. Um, the usual stuff now. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, please. Um, if you want to comment, please do and let me know. You know what? Maybe there's a few bits and pieces which I forgot to put in the bag, and you think, Russ, you could do with this in, in, in your grab bag. Uh, maybe there's a few bits in here which you're like, Russ, are you mental? You definitely don't need that. Get it out of the bag, it's weighing you down. Um, please comment, let me know, and just generally let me know what you think of having a grab bag for everyday life or what you thought of the video. Um, if you want to share the video, please share it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, why not? Uh, here's your chance to do so. Subscribe button and that little bell which gives you notifications of when we post. It would mean the world to me, people. And apart from that, uh, let me know how you get on with your grab bag. If you've got a grab bag, if you haven't, you think I'm being a little bit paranoid, let us know. Until next time, us. <laughs>